What's the next video on 365 Day Magic Challenge today is a great card trick by uh, Magic Geek's Chris Ballinger, and it's Forced Outcome. I love this trick, so I'm going to do a little review on it after I perform it. So this is a spectator free choice trick, so the spectator can choose any choice that they want, uh, any card that they want. So we're going to say they stop right there. That's going to be their card. And for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to look at it too. Uh, okay, there's the card. Now I know what it is. That way... When I'm later, I know I'm right or not. All right, so the, the, uh, you still have the spectator cut the cards. They put their card back on top, and then you shuffle the rest of the cards on top, and you give the deck a cut. So their card is going to magically jump back to the top of the deck, ladies and gentlemen. It's the King of Diamonds, and that's not right. It's okay. I get 52 guesses in this trick. You'll be here for a while. Uh, let me try another one here. Let me try the Five of Hearts. No? Okay. I won't do 52 guesses. Uh, three of clubs. No, that, uh, no, that's not right. One more guess. One more guess. How about the four di No, four spades isn't right either. Okay, we'll get rid of the rest of the deck. And uh, the spectator would choose one of these cards. Let's say they choose this one. I'm actually going to show all the cards. The top one is the ten of hearts. The third card is the ten of hearts. The third card is the Ten of Hearts, and this card is the Ten of Hearts. They're all Ten of Hearts. But then you accuse me of cheating, so I have to turn these back into different cards and make that the only Ten of Hearts. And that is Forced Outcome. Great trick by Chris Ballinger. Um, I use this in every show that I do. Every show. I, I know you don't really spo aren't supposed to do card tricks for kids. It goes over their head, but I do this as kind of an opener. I do it as my like warm-up trick. I always tell the kids... I have to get my hands warmed up for the actual good magic, so I do the forced outcome trick. I do it in walk around. I do it in street. I do it in close up venues. Uh, don't do it on stage because they can't see the cards. And yeah, they couldn't. They, they couldn't even see the cards if you did it on stage. But it's a great trick, though. And you know, Chris Ballinger uh, put this out for only about three ninety nine as an or four ninety nine as an instant download on MagicGeek.com. It's worth the four ninety nine. You're gonna get. I mean, people get fooled by it. People love it. I did it for somebody, and they're just like, "What?" Because you know they because they think you mess up, which is the best kind of magic there is. When the spectator says, "Ha ha, you messed up," and then at the end, it's all the they're all their card, and then boom, you turn them turn three back into regular cards. People go crazy over it. It's a great trick. And it isn't all against Fuller. Uh, it works the best, though, on the street as your opening trick. Uh, Chris Ballinger talks about this in the uh, instant download. He talks about how it's the it's the best. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's the best for street magic to do as your opener. It's big. It <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> it plays big, and it um and can draw a crowd because when the spectator picks their card. You can show the card to everybody. Like, did you see the card? Did you see the card? So it's a great trick. I recommend it. I do it, like I say, in every show. Everyone loves it. Kids and adults love this trick. So it's Forced Outcome by Chris Ballinger. You can go to magicgeek.com, click on the card tab at the top of the page, and you'll see instant downloads at the bottom. Click on that and uh, buy this trick for $4.99. You don't even need to wait for it because they'll give you the download link as soon as you order it. And you can watch it on your computer and you can learn the trick. It's a great trick and Chris walks you through step by step how to do it. Uh, now, I will say one thing about the trick though before I end it. Um, I did change the trick up a little bit. Um, and Chris Bounder talks about it on the DVD, but I did something a little different. You'll see what I did when you buy the trick. So, it's Chris Ballinger's Forced Outcome, great trick. I give it five magic wands out of five.